In this section, we'll look at some of the other industries that boomed during the 1920s. For example, the electrical appliance businesses and things like the radio and, and the movie industry. When we have the spread of electricity, by the end of the 1920s, over 70% of American homes were electrified. Everybody who lives in these homes wants to buy the new appliances that that electricity serve. And I could give you many examples of this, but it wasn't just getting lights. It was also things like uh, refrigerators. And uh, these things changed uh, the culture tremendously. I'll talk about culture later on, but taking the refrigerator as an example, that meant that there was no more need for a milkman. And whereas before people would go to the local corner market and buy their food for that day's meal, now that we have refrigerators, people could go to the large grocery store and buy in bulk, buying everything they needed for a whole week's meals. There are just so many other kitchen appliances that really made the economy boom and change the economy forever. All of these appliances meant jobs for people, fixing, selling them, and of course the electricity itself. It took uh, jobs to put up the electrical wires and uh, make the electrical generators, and it just all made the economy boom. Perhaps the most important of the electrical inventions was the radio. Although most inventions necessary to produce the radio receivers and transmitters had been perfected before World War I, radio only became a big new industry until the government lifted its wartime ban on private ownerships of radio sets. In 1919, the General Electric Company uh, helped organize the Radio Corporation of America, the RCA, which was another example of economic consolidation. RCA then began to produce smaller, more inexpensive radios, which quickly became the obsession of people. The radio era officially began on November 2, 1920, when KDKA in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania broadcast news of Warren Harding's election. The World Series was broadcast the following year. In 1925, RCA arranged with American Telephone and Telegraph, or AT&T, to transmit its uh, programs over AT&T's telephone and telegraph wires, and thus was the first national broadcast. By 1927, radio sales approached almost 7 million people. You were a nobody if you didn't have a radio. RCA created the first radio network. They began uh, buying up individual radio stations and broadcasting shows over them. Soon companies were uh, producing shows for radio, like the National Broadcasting Company, or NBC. And NBC soon had competition, like the Columbia Broadcasting Company, or CBS. Uh, they would uh, create shows for uh, the radio. There was also the development of the motion picture industry. Uh, motion picture business was already well established on the eve of World War I, but in the 1920s came development of sound and even greater expansion of the industry. I'll talk about the development of sound in our discussion of culture here in a bit, but in economic sense, it meant a lot of jobs. We're talking not only actors and screenwriters, but all the cameramen and all the uh, maintenance and support people. If you ever watch into the movie and the credits, there are just a lot of people employed in the movie industry. The growth of uh, the movie industry meant that cities needed places to play the movies, and so they would uh, build these movie houses, and because they were seen kind of like going to the theater, they called them movie theaters, and, uh, you know, there are a lot of jobs in that, that business. If They're not jobs just making the uh, new movie houses, the new movie theaters, but there's jobs as projectionists and uh, selling the popcorn and cleaning up. Because the appliances of the movie industry were still relatively primitive, the industry needed sunny, warm weather. And so the, uh, many movie companies began to set up operations in Southern California, the area of Hollywoodland. This uh, concludes this section on uh, the movie and radio and electric appliance industries during uh, the 1920s.